Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys, wherever you are in this beautiful world. And if you're watching this YouTube video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family Channel for the newcomers. My name is Didi. Uh, today, again, talking about three amazing Bitcoin charts, a beautiful trading advice, a travel tip. Yes, talking about the news, as there is something happening in the EI industry that you really need to pay attention to. And of course, also some live advice at the end of the video, guys. Let's quickly jump into the first part, the charts. I know it's not a beach Bitcoin booty today. Uh, from Monday, I will be back on the beach again. And today I was waking up a little bit too late. I don't know what happened. I just needed to sleep or something. But let's quickly jump into the charts to see what they have to say. Are we still going to go to see 48k? Let's see first now. Bam. The first chart for today, guys, is this beautiful day chart. And we can see that green line on top. That is the resistance line. If you look to the left, you can see we tried to break that line a couple of times. And then finally, we had a beautiful green candle pushing above it. But again, we found resistance, guys. We are now closing the candles every time down below uh, that line. And these are day candles. So every candle is a day. So this is almost like a month worth of data over there, guys. And we can now see a very beautiful pattern forming over here we have very tiny bodies and we have large wicks to the top and to the bottom guys this means that the market is indecisive people are fighting the bears and the bulls are we going to go up or are we going to go down now i hope that the wicks to the bottom will become longer and the wicks to the top will become smaller because that would mean that we probably would break out to the top and again break that 44k level to go forward to that 48k level, maybe even at 50k level, guys. That would be a very beautiful move for Bitcoin. Now let's zoom out into the charts and show you the bigger picture because there is three charts that are giving us an amazing message. This is that first chart, guys. The Bitcoin halving price history. We are about to hit that new halving. It is within 100 days that we will see the fourth halving guys the first halving we were at 12 dollar the second halving we were at 675 dollar the third halving we were at 9760 dollar the fourth halving we will be between 40 and 50 thousand us dollar in my honest opinion that is a very normal level for Bitcoin to be around that fourth halving in April 2024. And from that halving, guys, we are going to go up again. Look to the left. What did we do after the $12? We went massively up. What did we do after $675? We went massively up. What did we do after this $9,760? We went all the way up to 69K. What will we do after the halving for in April 2024? We will go massively up, probably the first time in Bitcoin's history, above 100K. Be part of that beautiful bull market. You should be buying Bitcoin daily. And if you want to buy Bitcoin, go and use the links down below to Bybit because Bybit has a beautiful offer over there all the way up to 30K in deposit bonus. You can still win the iPhone 15 because the promotion is still the 12th of January. You can get a $20 USDT airdrop. You can win beautiful Bitcoin t-shirts and you can win a Bitcoin family VIP membership. So you get access to all the VIP members in our group that has also the signals, that has also all the other advice, that has investment opportunities, etc., etc., etc. So you can win a shitload of prizes if you use the link down below to sign up to buy it today guys then we have this chart this chart is showing you a trend line this is also a day chart that long line that you can see that's a trend line that's a one year trend line and we can see how important that one year trend line has been it was support for a very long time till we broke it then it became resistance and now again it's acting as support even that last dip we kept support on that one year trend line. Very beautiful trend line. Now on the top of that trend line, we can see that we have a horizontal line of resistance. We are running into the end of that pennant that you can see forming. And from there, we could break out to that 50K level, guys. Very beautiful chart. Interesting to see how the one year trend line is playing a role now in this market. And then we have this chart. That is the last chart for today. The Bitcoin cycle master. We can see they were still down below that purple line. And that is the fair market value line. 
So we are not even breaking that fair value market line yet. And if you look back to the past, what happened every time when we broke that fair market value line, that is exactly the moment that we went into that second part of the bull market and went into that sprint all the way up to a new all-time high, guys. And we are now about to break that line. We didn't break it yet, but we are touching it and we are going to break it. From that purple line, we are going to go to that orange line. That's the aggressively valued price. And then from that line, probably touch that red line on the top. And that means we are overvalued. And that overvalued level at the moment is above 100K. And I believe that from the halving, we will slowly move up again. And all these lines will also move up again. And that overvalued line will be somewhere between 140 to 160K. So that could be the beautiful target for Bitcoin. Yes. If the spot ETF will be approved, there will be more liquidity, etc. blah, 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 blah. We can all understand that. But if Bitcoin just moves like it always moves, even then, we should easily break that 100K level in this bull market. Beautiful chart, guys. Last chart today. Let's jump into the next part. I hope you really enjoyed those charts, guys. And yes, the message will stay the same every time and again and again and again. You should be dollar cost averaging into Bitcoin. Buy these dips. That's why we dip. If you would have bought that dip, the wick went all the way to 41K, bam, you would be at 43K again now today, guys. It's very simple. We are in a bull market. This bull market is going to be insane bullish. If we even get the spot ETF news, it will be way more bullish. That like we will see a new all-time high above 70K. We are at 40K level. We are going to double in price in the next one and a half year. Put in $10, it will become $20. Put in $100, it will become $200. Put in $100K, it will be $200K. Put in $500K and you will be a millionaire at the end of the bull market top, guys. Yes, we are going to go times two, at least, in my honest opinion, from these levels, guys. So still beautiful moment, like you saw in the charts, to buy a shitload of Bitcoins. Now, let's jump into the trading tip. The trading tip for today, guys, I'm not giving you any trading advice, but I'm giving you two beautiful buy opportunity tips of two tokens that I really believe are going to do well. It all has to do also with the news that I'm going to talk later about, because in the news section, we're going to spend some time to AI. And now these two tokens are two AI tokens that I think that are going to really outperform the rest of the AI market. The first one is Get Fame AI. This is a beautiful token. The ticker is FMC. You can buy it on Bybit. This project is creating AI influencers. Those influencers are going to take over my job in a couple of years, guys. But this project already has more than 100 AI influencers created on their platform because you can even create your own AI influencer of yourself if you want on that platform. So you don't need to do all the job that I'm doing every day anymore. You just type the text and you have this beautiful AI model that will speak those texts and then you will just upload that video onto YouTube and start to make some revenue over there. So Get Fame AI is a beautiful project. I really believe in. I did already buy a huge bag of those FMC tokens, guys. Now the second project that I think is going to do really well is a beautiful AI bot it will help you with charting. The name is Chart AI. On Twitter, you will find it under Chart AI underscore ERC, guys. I will put the links down below. But this one is a charting bot. Any chart you see on Twitter, if you comment, for example, Chart AI bot down below that chart, it will give you a complete analyze of that chart. And this is just the beginning. It's a beautiful model created by a really good team that has been in this industry for a very long time. And it has just announced its roadmap for 2024. And I was looking at the roadmap and I was really amazed. I thought this is really cool because this is something I can really use. It has a use case. I can integrate it even into my videos to show people a TA of any chart out there. You can even integrate the bot in your Telegram groups and it will automatically give you chart analyze for a day, predictions, all that stuff. Chart AI, really cool project. Take a look at those two AI projects of so Get Fame AI and Chart AI. And Chart AI has also Chart AI bot and many other functions built in. Really awesome two projects, guys. So if you want to invest at the moment in two really cool AI projects on Bybit, you can buy FMC, which is the Get Fame uh, project. And the other one you need to buy, for example, on Uniswap, you just check it on Dex Tools where you can buy it. And that one is CX, and that's a Chart AI tool project. Really cool projects. Let's quickly jump now into the travel tip. The travel tip for today, guys, a very simple one. If you visit Thailand and you 
are visiting Phuket, then please visit Phuket Carnival. Carnival Phuket, it's a beautiful theme park with a beautiful show that holds nine Guinness Book of Records. Nine Guinness Book of Records. One of the records is the biggest popcorn machine of the world. So if you are in Phuket and you want to see something really cool, like the biggest LED light parade and the biggest LED light like statues and the biggest popcorn machine and an amazing huge show, then go to Carnival Phuket. Really cool thing, so it's a beautiful travel tip today. If you visit Phuket, do visit the Carnival Phuket. It is amazing. That was a travel tip for today. Let's quickly jump into the next part. The next part is a question of one of the followers. The question was, Zidi, if I go to Thailand with my bag of Bitcoins as a like tourist and I cash out my Bitcoins in Thailand, should I pay tax in Thailand? Of course not. You don't pay tax in those countries that you visit as a tourist. You pay your capital gain tax or your income tax in the country where you're registered as a resident. So for us, we are registered in Portugal as residents. So we need to pay taxes on our Bitcoins in Portugal. Because we hold our Bitcoins already longer than one year, yet we don't need to pay tax in Portugal. The same rule is in Germany. If you hold your Bitcoins longer than one year in Germany, you don't pay tax on your Bitcoins in Germany, 0%. In the Netherlands, for example, you pay capital gain taxes, like 1.3, 1.4% on your capital gain every January um, 1st. So, for example, if your capital was 100k in 2023, January 1, and 500k in 2024, January 1, you made like profit, and that's the capital gain, and you pay 1.3% on that 300k in the Netherlands once a year. So, every country has still its own tax rules when it comes to Bitcoin. It doesn't matter where you cash out your Bitcoin, it matters where your residency is and where your Bitcoin are registered. And even if your Bitcoins are being registered. Because I know that a lot of people bought Bitcoins still without KYC, still without regulations, without registrations, nothing. And you hold them in the beautiful hardware wallet and nobody knows even that you hold them. So why would you tell centralized entities like a government or a tax company that you have this secret stash of your Bitcoin somewhere. Just use them to live your life. You can spend Bitcoins all over the world nowadays. You don't need to tell everyone, hey, I have so many Bitcoins here in my wallet, uh, can I please pay tax? Why would you do that? Why would you do that? You already pay a shitload of tax. You pay VIT, you pay income tax, you pay tax when you die, you pay tax on everything. You pay tax on your garbage, you pay tax on everything that you do, you pay tax daily. So why would you still want to pay that extra tax on that hard-earned Bitcoin that you bought because you believed in the future of money? I believe that the whole tax system should be completely be changed, guys. For me, the tax system is just retarded. Why would you pre-tax people? Why don't you just tax people on all their spendings? And if those people make their money black or white or green or yellow or purple, it doesn't matter then anymore because they will always be taxed when they are spending their Bitcoins, their dollars, their euros. Why would you need to pre-tax people on their income and all that stuff? That's like unnecessary. We are not a bank. We as the people should not finance the government. We should not finance like the state. They should finance themselves. And if they are not able to finance themselves, then we should create a peaceful anarchy system where we do finance the state, but also determine what we do as people, a real democracy. And if there is a real democracy, yes, I am prepared also to pay a little bit of tax on my Bitcoins, but for now, I will just do it the legal way. Be a resident in a country where you don't need to pay tax on your Bitcoins. That was the answer to the question. The news for today, guys, is that Elvis Presley is alive. Again, because of AI. <laughs> of course, he's not alive. But AI is resurrecting Elvis Presley. There's a British company. I think they are called Layered Reality. They are now creating new live performances of Elvis Presley's out of old videos, personal videos with AI, converting them into beautiful new Elvis Presley concerts, guys. So this is what AI is doing at the moment for the world already. It is gonna change a lot of stuff in the next 10 years for us, guys. Just like the internet changed a shitload for us that we couldn't believe that it would be possible, like Zoom calls or creating YouTube videos. Didn't even know at that time that that would be possible. And now we have that new thing 
thing, AI, artificial intelligence, that will create a shitload of possibilities in the far future that we can't even understand yet. And that is why it's very important that if you diversify your investments at the moment, you do invest also in AI startups. Because those startups might grow out to the next big thing in the future. Like the two I just already shared with you guys. Get Fame AI, creating AI influencers, or Chart AI, doing the charting automatically. Those two projects already there are taking over my jobs. That's why I'm investing in them, because I know in the future the job that I'm doing is going to be replaced by these AI models, by these bots and everything. And now even Elvis Presley is going to be replaced by an AI beautiful performance that will show people how good of an artist he was uh, when he was still living, guys. So AI is slowly changing the world. And people just need to understand that when it comes to investing, you always look ahead. You look what would be the next big thing for the upcoming 10 years. Exactly the thing what I did with Bitcoin in 2013, looking ahead. Why would it be useful? What is the use case? Why would it be very interesting for people to invest in? Why? Because there was scarcity of 21 million Bitcoins. The use case, sending a $1 to the other side of the world without fees. Then you understand and you invest in this. Now this AI stuff is slowly being integrated into our lives and it will slowly take over all the commercials. They don't want to rent expensive models anymore. They are going to use beautiful Get Fame AI projects like that with fake models that look really real but that don't cost one fraction of what the normal famous people would cost. AI has a future, guys, and that's why you need to invest in it. And I think a few of you would now be asking, hey, would you go to the AI concert of Elvis Presley? Yes, I would. I want to understand why this guy was so massively popular in his time. And maybe when you can experience his realness through AI in a concert, like this vibe, this energy, maybe then you will feel the same that you would have felt at that those time. Of course, it's not exactly the same now, but believe me, also here where we can't believe that that is going to replace uh, what was there, it in, the, in the next 10 years, AI is slowly going to take over and show us things that we have never seen before, that we never expected before, that we never would believe that it could be done before, and it will be done. So that's why you should pay attention to AI, for example. And let not stand the combination of AI, blockchain, and in the other things, those three combined is going to change our complete life in the next 10, 20, 30 years, guys. So it's always good to diversify your capital in those three sectors, AI, in the other things, and of course, the blockchain industry. Now, let's quickly jump into the next part. And the last part of the video, guys, is a quote, and the quote is a very simple one today, every day has 1,440 minutes, which gives you 1,440 opportunities to bring some positivity into your day. So why wouldn't you use one of those 1,440 minutes to create a positive impact on your day or on somebody else's life? You have 1,440 minutes every day. That's a shitload of minutes to change your life, to change other people's lives, to create an impact in other people's lives, to be positive, to show people what life is about. 1,440 minutes. Just do the calculations. Why would you spend the majority of that 1,440 minutes like in doing stuff that you really don't like? A job or spending time with people that you really well rather not spend time with. Why would you do that? It's only 1,440 minutes per day, guys, so spend those minutes wisely. The way you want, with the people who want, where you want, it's very important to understand it. And if you're not able to do spend 1,440 minutes positive because you need some sleep, I can understand that as well, but then at least try to spend the most of that 1,440 minutes in a positive way by creating a positive impact for you and all the people around you. If you start to try to see every day like that, you will understand the importance of time because time is the most precious asset out there. If you don't spend your time well, you can be a trillionaire, a billionaire, a gazillionaire. If you're just sitting there doing nothing every day, time will fly by and there will never be a moment that you can buy back that time. So the time asset is the most precious one. And if you realize you have only 1,440 minutes per day, then you need to realize you need to spend most part of those minutes in a very positive way by creating a positive impact around you guys. 
that's the end of the video guys i hope you really enjoyed today's video if you did enjoy today's video give the video a thumbs up share with your friends and family subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell and leave a comment didi go to the beach again i don't like the regard thank you for that comment already i know it's going to be there uh, i wish you an amazing friday a beautiful weekend hopefully see you in one of the lives in the weekends probably uh, saturday an english live sunday a dutch live and monday i will be back with the normal format video again uh, probably walking on the beach thank you for watching wish you a beautiful day and see you tomorrow again Bam.